Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and TV reviews, monthly wrap-up tier lists with the occasional random ranking as well as game board content. Let's just a little bit of sprinkle here and there on the game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. So we are here to talk about season three of the Umbrella Academy. Um, I'm gonna try to do a spoiler-free review, but we're gonna see how things go. The goal is to go spoiler free, but I may incorporate just a tiny little bit here and there. Maybe like one of those like irrelevant spoilers. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the the review takes us. Also, you guys, it's so sad, but my Vanya, her little leg broke. That's why I don't have her up. She broke. I guess because she's no longer Vanya, of course. She is um, Victor now. We'll get to that later. I don't think I reviewed season one. I don't know if I had my channel at that point or not i probably did but i was probably late to the game anywho season two sh uh review for sure is up and i'll have a little card or i'll put it at the end as great as season one and season two were especially season two like i really went into season three with these really high hopes because we we started off strong we went even stronger with season two because season two definitely is my favorite season and i'm like oh my god season three we're gonna like get like way up there but it almost feels like this should have been season one as far as the production and the writing and the directing and just the acting just everything in general I feel I feel that like this season was definitely the weakest of course we did um leave season two off with them going again jumping into time and ending up in this other universe where uh, it is no longer the Umbrella Academy but the Sparrow Academy and our beloved uh Ben you know Ben over here oh good Ben is very much alive Klaus and Five are definitely my favorites it just depends they're very like this you guys on who I like the best but I think definitely Klaus I don't know I just love like his free spirit itself but then five is like a badass and like just like I said in my review for season two you know um Aiden Gallagher does such a great job making me believe that he is this older man that got stuck in this like pubescent body and like he's just lived his life in this season he's just completely over everything he is ready for reti retirement he's like you know what I have saved the world from two apocalypses you know what this third one I'm out because that is right we are yet having another apocalypse um and that's one of the things i think that really is hurting the season is like where it's like apocalypse one apocalypse two now we're in another apocalypse and we're having more like family drama going on mind you we have like new family members here with the sparrow academy we did get 10 episodes this season as well which i feel like it was maybe like one or two episodes a little bit too much. Uh, usually I want more than 10 episodes or I'm like very grateful for the 10 episodes. But like I said, it's definitely the weakest um, season. And there was a particular episode, I think like episode 8, that revolved around a certain celebration, a certain kind of party. And I just felt like that was a pointless type of episode. Like, I mean, I get it. End of the world happiness so 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 and whatever but that's not what I want <laughs> especially up until that point you really didn't have me caring about a lot of the stuff even the characters within the the season a lot of them just didn't really care so as an audience member just didn't have me caring all right let's go ahead and circle back over here to Klaus Klaus of course is one of my favorite characters like I said earlier and I really liked what they did with him this season I know I just really uh, previously just said that I wasn't really here for the writing but I was here for his story this season because his powers did grow he did learn to finally control um his particular gift that he has and, and and just conquer certain fields and have a relationship with certain people here and just be carefree Klaus and like we love and adore him so I really liked where his character you know just went off uh five like I said he was just over everything he is just ready to read tired to just like live the rest of his life again. Luther did have a, a bit of a storyline here and he had some involvement more than anybody with the Sparrow Academy again. We're going to try not to give any spoilers here as much as I can. And that particular turn that they gave Luther, I mean I'm happy for him and everything. He definitely does deserve everything but again it's just one of those things that unnecessary. Allison, she's finding her old demons. Uh, we definitely get a different uh, side of Allison here. She's down a dark hole, you know, you guys. She's lost a lot of things, you know. She 
course lost her husband and that's like not really a spoiler a spoiler i guess for season two but at this point i'm gonna assume you're seeing season two you know lost her husband the love of her life and then of course she had to leave her child there at the end to kind of come into this other timeline and it's just like lost and lost and lost and it's just like you know what she's just kind of done with being pushed over and it's just a whole again other Allison. her power also grows just a tiny bit uh we get a certain character that comes back i'm kind of going away from the seven right now um to what somebody what who was in season two who again i just wasn't really <sighs> certain things that happened there just doesn't really make sense like the disappearance of certain people again kind of spoiler free but we're gonna really say certain things um can somebody really explain how all those people really were affected instead of just the one person that he was technically connected with and ended up connecting all of the other people like i just don't understand like that doesn't really make sense to me but we're gonna let that be on that note we're gonna go ahead and move on to vanya who of course now is uh victor and i just love how they how they made that transition in the show like i feel like it was handled very beautifully it wasn't rushed and i was very curious on how they were going to actually do this when i did see the poster of victor i was just like oh my god it's gonna be so exciting um but i was also concerned that it was gonna be like really in your face like some sort of i don't know like this big old statement but it really wasn't it it was just handled so smoothly of course elliot uh, Paige does amazing. He always um, is one of the outstanding, you know, characters or actors rather from this um, this series. Now we're gonna move on to Ben, who is now part of the Sparrow Academy. And oh, Ben, 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 Ben. Um, I just did not like Ben this season at all. I definitely prefer Dead Ben over here. He is just such an asshole. I do not like at all what they did to that character. I just feel like they should have kept them who he was but i understand because it is a whole other timeline and just the way that the training went within this particular season uh with hargreaves with the kids was way stricter way more like you know because he of course saw the kids you know in dallas back in like the 60s so he's like you know what i I know where I kind of went wrong and everything. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and get on with the Sparrow Academy. And honestly, the Sparrow Academy just... Uh, I feel like that's really what brought the season down. Like, it's something that we just didn't need. I really didn't like any of the Sparrow Academy. Mine is Sloan. Sloan is honestly probably the best one. But uh, just everybody with within there. I mean, you guys, we have... I think number seven. I think that's what it is. Number seven, Christopher. It's a freaking cube. A cube this girl who like it's like a venom or something like spits out some stuff that makes you imagine things which let me with that note let me move on to diego 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 has this whole other thing going on with lila and again it's kind of like storylines just kind of all kind of like this review just all over the place you know if you're like oh my god with this review that's kind of how the season went also because like his storyline with lila and then that kid, Ashtray from Euphoria, I can't remember his name here, Stewart or something, I don't know. I'm gonna give you this as far as spoiler goes. From season one, that this season is gonna go a whole weird direction. Because season one, like pretty early on, we bust out with like a footloose, like dance number. I also didn't like what they did with Grace, robot mom Grace. She was really robotic here. Like she really gives you mom vibes, you know, in season one, season two. But like here, she's like straight up robot who then it's like overtaken by the cuckoo blitz you know that's god and stuff and the cgi also was really really bad like i just feel like they definitely could have done way better with that especially there at the beginning when we do get introduced to the sparrow academy number one and he's doing like this little black uh backflip and he's like working out and he like with you know his sweat and throws his little sweaty towel off the roof so it's like the fans can like get his sweat rag or whatever i don't know you guys that was like terrible of course later towards the end with certain disastrous things that happen also bad cgi even the way that the season ended it was just i don't like this is really how it ended i mean obviously we're gonna get a season four and when the last um episode of season uh, not a season of episode 10 finishes just kind of wait a little bit because there's kind of like an end credit which i kind of didn't understand you know like but okay whatever it is what it is also the dad you guys let me just kind of go into this because of course he's an alien you know again that's not really a spoiler because we found that out in season um two but if you haven't seen it then that's a spoiler but 
there's a part where the kids, the sparrow kids, are like drugging him with pills. What kind of freaking pills are these that are drugging this like alien from another world? Like, no, they're not supposed to know he's an alien, right? So, I mean, I guess Pogo may have known he's an alien and just gave the kids the pills. But, I mean, I just feel like an alien from another world would not be affected by human pills. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably one of those, like, things that you shouldn't ask questions about, right? But I'm asking questions. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new. So as far as uh, the Umbrella Academy Season 3, I honestly forgot what my rankings were. I would say, I would say watch it. I, I think that's the second one because I don't have skip it and I think it's watch it and binge it. So whatever the middle one is, because I haven't done a review in like months, I forgot what my TV ratings are, but I don't think it's bingeable. I think it's right in the middle. If, you, if you're if you a fan of the Umbrella Academy, I say continue on with the story. Just don't go in with these like bigger expectations. But I do say binge the series because the series is amazing. Binge the whole freaking series. Maybe if you binge it all together, it won't be as bad. But just know that season three definitely is the weakest link. Season two being the best one uh, thus far. So next time I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.